about raising awareness of issues affecting our motherland. So I started the Face of Kenya UK, and it was not only to brand Kenya in the UK, but it was also to fundraise for charities of choice. I stand here very proud that even this year we were able to raise 5,800 pounds for different charities in Kenya. Yeah. Every contestant, like uh, the lady you see here today, uh, Lavinia Karanja, you can stand up Lavinia. She was able to raise for a charity that educates orphans in Kenya. She raised £1,500. <laughs> and Nancy was, uh, she's amazing to me because I always say, yes, we are calling it Face of Kenya UK, but bringing all of us together in a day like we are all celebrating our countries is important. And Nancy was the host of Face of Kenya UK 2014. And uh, we are launching in Los Angeles in uh, the 4th of April, and I am taking Nancy with me. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, Face of Kenya, USA, it's starting, but we want to tell them, diaspora in the UK, we are very much united. The East Africans are working together, and we are going to be the face of our motherland. Do you agree with me? Oh, yeah. Now, we're here because of HIV and AIDS, and uh, the fact of the matter is, HIV and AIDS has lost taste in the African mouth, in the media, nobody's talking about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about Ebola, everybody's scared. So the work has got to be done, but it's got to be done by us, who knows how much is affecting us back at the ground. Now the fact that people are not talking about it a lot means I've got a 13 year old. Today I was asking her, obviously, because I knew I was going to be here, what she knows about HIV and AIDS. Not much. Even I feel I failed as a parent because I have not taught her. At this age, I need to teach her HIV and AIDS is there. Back in Dagenham, that is where I live. And unfortunately, the number of young people, 16 years, 17 years old, 18 years old, who are accessing medication for HIV and AIDS have gone up. And the fact of the matter is because they are of a legal age, they don't have to tell their parents that they are accessing this medication. So you could be living with your young child, because for me, as long as they are living in my house, they're still a young child, taking tablets every day of HIV and AIDS, but you don't know. And that is a sad, sad story. So we are here to say that do not be scared, go for testing. And we've just had here, Positive East have said two minutes, a very simple test, you will know if you're positive or not. After you've done the test, find somebody to talk to. We in the community, we are very busy looking for money, but we need to remember there could be somebody, a sister or a brother, sitting down somewhere crying because they've been diagnosed with HIV and AIDS. We need to be people who can be accessed to talk to these people and help them. Emotional care sometimes. Sometimes we just need to be there and tell them, you know what, it's not the end of the story, you're going to be all right. It's good to tell people that whether you're HIV positive, life continues. Mm -hmm. The idea is you know as early as possible so as you can get treatment as early as possible and extend your life. So Nancy, well done. Congratulations. And I will support you all along the way because I know we are going to be the voice of the community. We are already the voice of the community. And keep going. HIV and AIDS doesn't have to be talked about on a day like today, World AIDS Day. We can talk about it tomorrow. And uh, TV programs out there, even our young people, the beauty queens, talk about it. Let us eradicate HIV and AIDS. And the, the sad thing is we can stop the spread. The moment we tell people be safe, be safe and be safe, we can stop the spread. Thank you very much.